In this video, we're going to look at how the Clippers attacked Nikola Jokic's defensive shortcomings in Game 1. Sometimes a guy can hurt his team defensively when not engaged in direct action on a score. And we're going to see that here. Zubats sets a screen against Gary Harris for Kawhi Leonard, and then he slips it. This is something the Clippers did all night. Denver tries to blitz Kawhi Leonard, and in doing so, they do knock the ball loose. But look at Zubats being defended by Gary Harris down low. When Kawhi turns, Jokic takes a really poor angle back to the paint. And because of that, Jamal Murray is late to actually close out on Patrick Beverly. Beverly gets a solid look, and he knocks this three down. We're going to see another slip of a, of a pick and roll set by the Clippers here by their big. And we're going to see how not actually attacking it impacts Denver. Here's where Zubat sets the screen. He's going to slip it. Jokic jumps out but doesn't even try to deter this pass. Jamal Murray has to dig down. And because Murray's small, Paul Millsap digs down as well. Zubats makes the short roll pass to Marcus Morris in the corner. This is completely uncontested. And Marcus Morris knocks down his first of four threes. So here, the Clippers are a little bit in transition. Kawhi Leonard is the ball handler. Zubats walks up, sets a nice screen against Jeremy Grant. As you can see, Nikola Jokic is way in drop coverage. Kawhi Leonard steps into a pretty good look from three. He is going to miss, but this isn't the end of the play. Long rebound comes to Zubats. Clippers reset back to Leonard. And this is a theme that the Clippers like to do, is they like to have Zubats screen for Kawhi. And here... Zubats actually slips the screen again. Jokic just caught too high up. Bounce pass right into the pocket. Zubats reads Michael Porter Jr. and passes to the corner. The pass is high. Landry Shamit does a great job of outstretching his arms to catch the ball and save it. The ball finds its way back to Lou Williams late in the shot clock. We're under five seconds. He attacks the defender. If you're this upright, you're not stopping anything. Jokic does not step up at all on the drive, and because of this, he doesn't adequately contest the layup attempt, and Lou Williams gets it up and in. I never want to outright say someone is lazy, but this play kind of reeks of that for Jokic, uh, to be quite honest. Here, Beverly crossover, boom, he's already passed the defender in the backcourt. And because of this, Jokic has to step up. And he doesn't. As we focus in on him uh, with the highlight, he keeps backpedaling. And as Beverly plans to go up, Jokic actually runs away from this back to his assignment rather than contest. And Beverly gets an open layup and he lays it up and in. Sometimes even missed shots could be bad defense and just lackadaisical. Here, Paul George gets a scream from Ivica Zubats against Paul Millsap, and he's immediately going to drive downhill. But in doing so, look at how far back Jokic is. He's backpedaling as George has Millsap in jail. Millsap goes right by George to get back to Zubats. And this is an open floater attempt for Paul George. He misses it, but this is a shot he would like to get over and over. All right, side out of bounds. Clippers have some fun sets. But as we come to a pause here momentarily, you're going to see Leonard look at the floor and in doing so look where Jokic is he's defending Vita Zubats the paint is his responsibility Morris slips a screen now watch how late Jokic is to recognize this he's late on the rotation and because he's late on the rotation he's going to jump at this fake by Morris and in doing so Morris has an easy passing lane to Zubats and Zubats has a poster of Paul Millsap Nikola Jokic really has to do better This is a nifty set from the Clippers, and they use some deception here, and I love it, I love it, I love it. Paul George is going to get the ball. Lou Williams is going to actually fake like he's setting a ball screen. The Clippers love to set guard ball screens, and because of this, Gary Harris leans the wrong way. And when George goes left, Zubat slips the next screen, and he's able to turn the corner a little bit. Jokic does a good job of walling him off, but this is the last part of the good defense by Jokic on this play. Lou Williams actually fakes like he's going to pass, and that gets Jamal Murray out of whack. Lou Williams then attacks the open left foot of Jamal Murray. It's bad defensive posture. And as Lou drives, Jokic just caught in no man's land. He doesn't come up to contest. He doesn't stay back to the rim. He's just there doing whatever. He's not aggressive. Zubats gets an alley-oop dunk. What's the number one rule with Lou Williams? Don't let him go left. If you let him go left, he's going to put you in the torture chamber. And that's actually exactly what ends up happening in this play. We're going to see another pick and roll. And this time, Lou Williams is the ball handler against Jamal Murray. Zubats walks up, 
boom, nice little screen. Jokic is in drop coverage. Denver loves it. He's not a great defender, so you get it. As Lou goes left, Jokic gives him way too much space here. And because of that, as Lou goes up, everything that happens is the fault of Jokic not stepping up, and Lou Williams nails it. All right, here we go. Another instance of Jokic getting caught too high on a slip screen. It happened a few times, and we're going to see it again here. Paul George gets a screen from Avica Zubats, and he slips it. We see that right there. As he slips, Jokic is too high. He's not able to do anything. Because of that, Paul Millsap has to dig down. And with Paul Millsap digging down onto Zubats, Marcus Morris Sr. is wide open in the corner again. And it's yet another three-pointer for Morris. The Clippers took advantage of this time and time. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what this is. I'm going to do my best, though. Jokic is here tagging Montrez Harrell and warning Gary Harris about the ensuing screen. Harris sheds the screen. Jokic has to dig back, but he doesn't. He just stands there and he's a traffic cone. And Paul George goes right past him. And because Paul George goes right past him, Gary Harris can't stop him and ends up fouling him. This is just poor defense. All right. How do multiple screens end up helping the offense? We're about to see that. First screen is being set here by Marcus Morris Sr. against Jamal Murray. This forces a switch with Paul Millsap now onto Paul George. Advantage Clippers. Now the Clippers are going to do it again with Avica Zubat setting a screen. And this is going to put Jokic onto Paul George. Jokic attacks Paul George. Avica Zubat is open rolling. George hits him. It's a nice defense by Gary Harris to rotate. And Paul Millsap is forced to dig down to help Harris. And because of that, what does that leave Nikola Jokic to do? Well, now he's on Paul George. Hard step by Paul George. Nikola Jokic is like Bambi in the forest. Stands there in, near the elbow, just looking completely lost. Paul George gets separation. This is a bad contest, and Paul George knocks it in. Jokic was just fish food. Sometimes you can show great offensive process and poor defensive process, even on shots that don't go into the net, because process actually matters more than results sometimes. And on this play, Paul George gets the ball from Kawhi Leonard. He's going to flow into a pick and roll with Zubats. As the screen happens, I don't know what posture this is from Nikola Jokic. That's doing nothing. He's in drop, and Paul George steps right into an open three. It's a clean look. He doesn't make it, but this is a shot the Clippers want every time. All right, welcome to the last possession. And yes, this is a very long one, but it's really interesting. Lou Williams has the ball in the inbounds and watches Landry Shamit, who was the inbounder, comes back into this play. And as he does so, he's going to set a guard ball screen against Torrey Craig. This forces a switch. Well, now it's Jamal Murray on Lou Williams. That's an advantage for the Clippers. So what's Morris do? Let's put Jamal Murray into another pick and roll. This time, Morris slips the screen and goes to the corner. Morris ends up ball faking because he thinks Porter's going to jump on the closeout. He should have shot it. However, as Morris attacks this closeout, just watch Nikola Jokic. I don't know what this stunt is, but by doing this, it allows Avica Zubats to get inside position and end up getting the eventual offensive rebound. It was a worthless stunt, and because of it, the Clippers get a second chance. And as the ball comes out, Lou Williams sets up the offense near this, you know, superimposed logo. Zubats sets a great screen against Jamal Murray. Nikola Jokic is in drop. However, as he backpedals, he's too far upright. You cannot be like this. Lou Williams' little ball fake draws the defender over from the corner. He then passes to the corner, and in doing so, Jeremy Grant kicks over, and it's a simple swing pass to Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard attacks the Jamal Murray closeout, and you're going to end up seeing Nikola Jokic caught in between a hard place here, and I don't know what he's doing because he's not defending anything. He smacks at the ball, and he does disjar it a little bit, but Kawhi Leonard gathers and goes up into a shot, and he makes it. The Clippers just attacked every Nikola Jokic action that they could all night. 